It's a special school that now has a special name. The Evergreen District's newest high school will offer a comprehensive education with a focus on math and science for students interested in careers in the healthcare and bioscience fields. Evergreen partnered with Peace Health Southwest Medical Center to locate the school adjacent to the medical campus to give students easy access to industry professionals. Houses purchased by the district were moved or demolished to make way for the school, which will open in the fall of 2013. As bulldozers prepared the ground, a naming committee of students, teachers, and staff solicited names from the public and narrowed the choices down to four, which they presented to the school board for a vote. I'm Ryan Johnson, and I'm here to talk about the Health and Bioscience Academy or the Health and Bioscience Academy of Southwest Washington. While we were at these meetings, those were that's what we referred to it as, um, as the Health and Bioscience Academy, just because that's basically what it's teaching, so it's simple, it's to the point. And we also thought that maybe uh, if you wanted to make it uh, where the location was, you could say Health and Bioscience Academy of Southwest Washington. The Mother Joseph Health and Bioscience Academy. Um, Mother Joseph founded the first hospital in, in the Northwest here in Vancouver and uh, she made helping the sick one of her first priorities and after she arrived at Fort Vancouver in 1856 from Montreal. She was a tireless worker for the poor and dispossessed so we figured that this would be a it would be cool if we had a local woman who did a lot of her, her had a lot of impact in Vancouver um, to honor her with the name of the school. I'm, uh, I'm Zach Hall. I'm here to represent Henrietta Lacks Health and Bioscience High School. Henrietta Lacks was, she died in 51 at age 31. Uh, doctors found that they could harvest her cells from the tumor that she, she died from a tumor. The, the doctors were able to harvest the cells from her tumor and they can reproduce endlessly. They are still re being reproduced per day, uh, today. Her cells We've, well, we've made over two tons of her cells um, now to eradicate diseases such as polio. Um, back when polio was an issue, we, were now, we actually now have eradicated that uh, due to some, uh, partially due to the experiments we've done with her cells. What made Henrietta's cells unique was that they could do something never seen before. They could be kept alive and grown, allowing researchers to experiment as never before leading to many important advances in medical science. Because of her invaluable contribution to medicine, the board voted unanimously to name the school the Henrietta Lacks Health and Bioscience High School. I think it's critical that at some point in time that her contribution and the contribution of millions probably of others who will never be known begin to be identified. And if people don't know who Henrietta Lacks was, they'll be motivated to find out and to find out more about citizenship and medical ethics. And, and I can't think of a negative to any of that. Her special cells were named Gila cells, so the new school will also be known as Gila High. Construction for the high school was made possible through a $17.4 million qualified school construction bond. For more information, please visit www.helahigh.org.